and extra school children in England should be entitled to free school meals, according to a review commissioned by the government, which says all families on universal credit should be included. The National Food Strategy says that would help tackle what it describes as a slow-motion disaster of poor eating habits. Simon Jones reports. A nutritious diet is the foundation of equality and opportunity, according to the National Food Strategy. It says more children need to be fed well at school to end the toxic connection between poor diet and child poverty and insists the price would be well worth paying. You're looking at a couple of pounds per child per day and in the scheme of uh, everything else that is going on, uh, the, the amount to be spent, this as a way of making sure there is not a scar in our society and that scar being a whole generation of children who have been left behind seems to me to be very good value. 1.3 million school children in England currently receive free school meals. Pupils from households earning less than £7,400 before benefits qualify for the scheme. Today's review is calling for the government to expand the programme to an additional 1.5 million 7 to 16 year olds. The cost around £670 million a year. The importance of school meals was recently highlighted by the footballer Marcus Rashford. He's posted pictures on social media this week of a visit to a charity fighting food poverty. That's after he forced a U-turn from the government to ensure struggling families get food vouchers over the summer holidays. I think, obviously, this is only going to be successful throughout the summer period. And then, um, you know, we've got to report ourselves an extra six weeks of time there to sort of plan and, and figure out what's, what's next and how we keep taking steps forward because... I don't want it to be, oh. I, I don't want this to be the end of it, you know, because it's definitely more steps that need to be taken. One of the legacies of the coronavirus pandemic is likely to be a dramatic rise in poverty, unemployment and hunger, the report warns. The government says it will carefully consider its findings, accepting there's more to do to build a stronger food system for the future. Simon Jones, BBC News. The rituals of the annual Hajj pilgrimage.